Hello, and welcome back to episode 35 of Rule the Waves 2, German Brawlers. Come back to the dual war with France and Italy. I think I dubbed the Great Central European War. Uh, I, it's actually been a little bit since I did the last recording, and uh, I'm trying to remember everything that was going on at the time. So give me a moment as I refresh. That's right, we're moving everything back from the Mediterranean up into Northern Europe. Full uh, support to Northern Europe. Keep our fleet concentrated until we get to full grips with this two-front war. And of course, the, uh, the three ships that were in Northern Europe are now out of combat for a while. Or the two. Because we lost the third. And we have last of the Elsass and three Schwabens coming in soon. And we're doing the design study for Lutzow. All right, things looking good. We have the monthly balance, which we're leaving until we finish the design for the Lutzow. Pump up Italy, leave the rest. And we'll move forward. Lose 50 victory points in Northern Europe. 40 in two African areas. Weissenberg is good to go, so that means we have three capital ships for this month. Toscana. 8, 9 inch. Very little armor. Very fast. Few torpedoes. Not great, not bad. Higgins boats. All right, we have a better dive bomber in the sense of firepower and toughness. Liability average. Enemy submarines doing their thing. Same with mines. Enemy coastal raid medium. We might not have much then. Oh, a destroyer. That is abysmal. Well, let's see where this takes us then. Bring it up to 20 knots since they're destroyers. They can handle it. Let our scouts from our air bases do their thing. Northeast. Two heavy cruisers, they say. West Northwest. One heavy cruiser. All right. Pretty sure. Oh, hit by torpedo. Nice. So, probably headed over this way then. Keep looking for them. Night falls, and we're going to be lucky if we find them. It's very beneficial that we've... We've been able to... Get a torpedo into them with one of our submarines. That's exactly why we set our submarines for... for um, fleet support, so that we would get those opportunities. Okay, we have a few too many uh, Corvettes. I'm not going to be able to parse out where these reports are coming from. Unknown ship. Well, we can keep looking. Ah, boost time. Oh, wow. Got lucky. 
Oh, right, because we have radar. That's right, that's a thing. Okay, they're coming up north. Come up to full speed. Get a decent angle on them. Wait for them to show up on radar again. Turning in. We will as well try to close in. There they are. Ideal situation, destroyers, nighttime, 4,000 yard range. We have the uh, radar to be able to see them and get in a torpedo position. Let's turn in. Yes, yes, we're going to lose one of them. We already used both torpedo mounts. That one has only used two, but she's now disabled. All right, we got one torpedo into her. If she lasts long enough, she might be able to get another one, but now it's time to withdraw. So two torpedoes into two heavy cruisers. Top speed. Oh, one of them's going kind of slow. And I don't think uh, the destroyers have torpedo reloads. I'll keep looking, but I don't. I don't think we're going to see it. Yep, yep. We just saw each other. They're going to shoot at me. I'm going to turn away and shadow them, hoping to keep them spotted for aircraft to make a strike. First thing in the morning. Night at night, but we have 1,100 minutes all together for this combat. 950 left. It's enough hours. All right, there she is. Keep an eye on her. There she is again. Our faithful Dotson might make it. That is the namesake of the class, taking one flooding. As long as she makes it back to port, which that is not a port, that is a port. She might not make it. Time will tell. Oh, sneaking away up north. On about 20 knots, turning around around the edges and then get on the outside edge of her as night drags oh she turned around full speed turn away we take multiple hits Gonna have to be careful if we want to last until morning. Fortunately, the radar is not reliable enough and they can make turns suddenly. There we go. Just keep sailing. Drop 20 knots. Crossing midnight. When is local daylight? Uh, dawn at 0300 Zulu. Four hours. Oh, she turned back. Nope, got ahead of her. Or that's the sister ship, maybe? Just keep tracking them for now. Where's the sister ship? Down here? Yeah, there she is. Permanent flooding, though. There's 268 minutes left. More than this scenario 
or less than this scenario has left. I don't think she's going to make it. I don't think she's going fast enough to make that port. Riga, is it? Yeah. I remember my geography. Don't shoot at them. Leave them alone. They're going to shoot back. Oh, nice. They're repairing planes on the ground. Um, there we go. At least the radar's still working. Three more hours. and a half more hours ish or is it three and a half nope two and a half turn back in keep shadowing her and 304 On this one, this one is the Zulu clock. This is the local clock. Oh, that's no bueno. No, now they're gonna shoot back. All right, we'll keep dancing as long as the destroyer is in okay condition. Mm, I think she might have turned. There she is. Keep an eye on her. She turned to north. Continuing to head north. Approaching that last hour. Heading north again. Got the last quarter hour. There's Dawn approaching. Tower, she blows. Turn away. Come up to full speed. Make a couple turns. Hold Dawn approaching. Unknown radar contact. I know exactly who that is. Keep an eye on her. Yep, there goes the Dotson. Oh, well. Hold on. As we keep an eye on, on her, possible that our aircraft will come sort of from the airfields and come in. Just keep a hairy eyeball on her. Because we'll make radio reports. And then the aircraft will start coming inbound. Good at least. Which way is she going to turn? East or west? But out east. Dotson, we shall remember her. Having bravely launched torpedoes at point blank range in the middle of the night while under heavy fire.
Mosquito bombers. Got medium bombers. Not actually using dive bombers, are we? Could I outfit some? I don't know where I would get them from, though. I know the Brits are using them. And we might actually run out of time. There they are. I don't see any aircraft close enough. Well, there's there's a couple groups. Oh no! Want to run for hours? I'll keep an eye on them. Aircraft should be turning in. What class is this? Truria. 6, 10 inch, 12, 6 inch. That's why they're no good for destroyers. And we have a sighting now. I guess those are uh, search planes. No reloads on the destroyers, for sure now. There we go, there she is again. Not seeing any aircraft approaching. So I may turn away and call this one. At this point, I'm jumping at spots on my screen. Let me know where I need to clean it. Oh, there's the search plane coming back. Yeah, we have our various batteries. Ball. The air base. Not give them orders. Can't handle their cap? Huh. Don't need a heavy cap. Yeah, I think we'll just keep heading north. Wait for this scenario to end. We're not getting the aircraft we want up here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any cruising around. You trying to chase us down now? Nope, far enough. Now the scenario should end as long as we get far enough apart. And one of our Corvettes got torpedoed and sunk. We did get one of the heavy cruisers with the torpedoes. Take a look, see which one. Francesco Ferreccio, Ferreccio, three medium hits and a torpedo hit. So this is likely the torpedo from the um, destroyer. Yeah, because they're trading shells with the Dotson. Torpedo, engine room hit, Dotson. And that was that. Had a, a bulkhead rupture and then sunk through progressive flooding.
took a while. They have early search radar, which is probably why they flipped around occasionally. Because they knew where we were. In one prestige, I'll take it. Something I was thinking of doing. I don't think it was the air groups. We've got flying boats, fighters, medium bombers, torpedo bombers. You can downsize the fighters somewhat. We have dive bombers down in um, the Mediterranean as we plussed up the air base in Tripoli. I don't really want to sacrifice the fighters for dive bombers. I'm fine having torpedo bombers. Take a look, see how much we have up here. France has a heavy presence. Italy does not. Great Britain does. We have fleet support rules. Speaking of which, I might build more submarines. Yep. Get the uh, problems with a couple of those. Uh, how's the Schwaben again? Nine 14 inch guns, 14 inch belt, 5 inch deck. Good turrets, 28 knots. Kind of a good fast battleship. Oh yeah, with the heavy secondaries, because I wanted to do that again. Sure, we'll build another. Be fine. Dire situation. I guess we are behind, but not by much. So we should fight on until we get a good response from the... Peace talks. That's a much heavier bomb load. Kind of better all around. Take it. That's the plan to seize Sardinia in a Blitzkrieg attack. Do you approve? Sardinia? Why are you going to Blitz Sardinia? France occupies, but we're, I'm so confused right now. Got some merchants sunk, mostly French ones. Aid on enemy shipping. They have quite the capital forces, but this is a large battle, not a fleet battle. We'll attack enemy ships near objective. Ah, the blue is involved. I get control of the blue shirt. We'll bring them back to the core division because we need as many guns in the battle line as possible. Move our destroyers into support as usual. Already are for our battle cruisers. The carrier, I will head. Let's see. Gotta worry about enemy zones of aircraft. Uh, we do want a heavy cap while they're here actually not going to worry about searching. Blue sure doesn't need to worry about that. Oh, we get both. Excellent. We want the heavy cap. We'll head generally west with both forces. Our battleship, battle line heading slightly south. Any two ships. Accelerate time. And nightfalls. Outstanding. 
unknown. Radar contact. Come up to 20 knots. Ship looks like it's getting out to sea. It's going relatively slow. So we'll angle in, bring the blucher over to the coast of England in preparation for the morning. Weissenberg cut in. Guessing they have radar because it looks like they're a little bit nervous. Come up to maximum speed. And let's set the black flag, get those destroyers moving in. Unless this ends up being a transport, which considering the lack of fire coming in. Yeah, let's let's rescind that. Lower it down. We don't need to worry about this one. Drop to 20 knots and resume our westerly course. Bring the carriers south. Merchant class. We know there's usually a shore battery on the coast over here. Swing a little bit wide. Ooh. Could be the scouting force. Let's come up to full speed. Yes, this looks to be their battle line, whatever it is. However much of it is here. Set the black flag. We're about to get in a close engagement. And there we go. Come broadside. Take a heavy turret hit. It bounces, disabling the turret. We get two 14 inch guns and one of the 9 inch guns. And two 14 inch hits. Don't care about the 4 inch. Battlecruiser getting one of the 14 inch. Weissenberg takes a penetrating belt hit. And a um, superstructure hit. Belt extended. Medium gun. Alright. The glory class. 9 15 inch guns, 16 5 inch guns, 11 inch belt, 4.5 inch deck. Not too dissimilar from our own. We just got to have a heavier belt, not that it does that much at this range. So that's two 14 inch guns, one 9 inch gun, a boatload of 14 inch shells, and the Molt K. Which now has a jammed rudder, so she won't be involved. There's one of the heavy hits to the Molke, a couple of medium hits, which that's what damaged the rudder. Keto tubes. Yeah, we're, we're, it's a brawl at short range. There's a lot going on here. One, two, three, four, four heavy hits, two nine inch hits. Which, that's just the Weissenberg that has the 9-inch, the heavy secondaries. So they're actually making good use of just six guns on a side. They're getting two hits per per minute. Take Thurflinger takes a penetrating belt hit and a superstructure hit for a medium. We'll cut in. Two 14-inch, three 14-inch into the, one of the glories. Receiving one heavy hit in return. Weissenberg takes a torpedo. 14 inch hit into one of the destroyers. Wow. Torpedo, rather unimpressive. We will turn away though. Molke takes a torpedo. Another torpedo. Another. Okay, Molke's dead. Wow. Probably every torpedo these destroyers had. Considering that, we'll reverse the turn, go the other direction. We'll take continuing to take hits. 
Weissenberg takes a penetrating hit. Continue turning. Weissenberg torpedo tubes hit. Which side? Both sides are destroyed now. He no longer has torpedoes. And what's her damage? Not much. So let's cut back the other way. Three 14 inch hits. Mostly medium gun hits to the Weissenberg in return. But those are penetrating, so they're doing significant damage. Where are the battle cruisers? What are you guys doing? Yes, I know, the Molke's done. One 14 inch hit into the unidentified ship, 9 inch hit into the destroyer, another 14 inch into the ship. Another 9 inch into the destroyers. I think that ship is going to eat something of that torpedo barrage. We need to to make up for the loss of the Molke. 9 inch batteries getting consistent hits. Two more 14 inch. We'll turn away because we have to avoid our own torpedoes, which look like they were on short runs, which is good. Plenty of hits into this unidentified ship. Turn in. Glory. Two more 14 inch hits into her. They do have torpedoes, don't they? No, actually they don't. Perfect, I can get as close as I want. Plenty of hits into her, two of them heavy. Our primary batteries are down. It'll be the Durflinger doing work. So Weissenberg really doing, uh, utilizing the 9 inch. Finding that kind of useful then. This might be more, so we might want to do our damage to the Glory class and leave. Oh, yeah, plenty of hits into her. I don't think she's going to last. Oh geez, torpedoes everywhere. Just turn around though. Yeah, the glory's done for. Leave her, leave her alone. What have we here? I bet you this is the carrier force. Put a little bit of a swerve. Yeah, this force is retreating. This one is intercepting. These are zippy destroyers moving around. Um, can we get our destroyer squadron to screen now? Try to push them forward at this point. All right, let's turn away, keep them at arm's reach. One nine inch hit into the unidentified ship, which I assume is their the beginning of their battle line. One 14 inch hit now. We'll turn north away from her escorts, which have fresh torpedoes. Do we have any more speed? Engine room bounce. Two 14 inch hits. Uh, a slew of shells back and forth. Three 14 inch. Surfling are taking a couple of hits. Significant. Well, significant as in it. It was a little bit of a tickler. Keep coming to starboard. G10 not doing well. Should be detaching automatically. Keep coming to starboard. I'm assuming these are light ships here. Yep, for sure. Turn north. And they're turning away again, so now we'll turn in. And come back fully. These might be the battle cruisers. The other glory is coming back. 
Delimited to 22 knots. Bisonberg hit by torpedo. How bad is it? That one's bad. All right. We've pushed our luck. We, we've done our job. No reason to risk our capital ships any more than we have. The Durflinger should trade some shots here shortly. Oh yes, and we have our carriers that I don't want to forget about. Bring them up to full speed now. Send them north. Fortunately, I forgot about them. Durflinger and Goibin. Yeah, they're trading torpedoes. Goibin takes one. Significant flooding. Goibin takes another. One of the glories take a bunch of torpedoes. This one down here, I assume, then? Yeah, heavy damage, multiple disabled turrets. We've been 204. That damage is getting pretty significant. Another torpedo. We may lose the Goyben. Nope, that one really didn't do anything. Did raw flotation damage, but not progressive flooding. Battleship terrible. How terrible is it? Eh, it's not that bad. What's the Goy been doing now? Alright, they're getting under control pretty quickly. Keep them at 20 knots. Carrier should overtake. Our destroyers are still disrupting. And I think we'll be able to make a clean getaway from here. Although Goibin is going pretty... Well, not that slow. Oh, current speed 10, yeah. She slowed to control damage, for sure. Alright, we got another torpedo into some ship. And another one. We want to turn around and press the attack more, but that's most of the torpedoes our destroyers will have. Like I said, I really don't want to press our luck too much. We'll head to Harwich. It'll be good for the Goibin, the Latouche, Treville class. Destroyers are getting hit by torpedoes. Good grief. Let's see, what are our destroyers doing? Watch some of this action. The G10 will probably get destroyed here shortly. Uh, how much night time do we have left? Should be a bit. Yeah, three more hours. Okay, is finally finished sinking. So has the S-14. And I think we have successfully disengaged from each other. We will continue to head northbound at slow speed. Goyben is largely controlled. We'll have to watch that. That last bit might not go away, in which case... Oh, actually, she took enough damage, she's automatically detached. We will head generally north. North by northeast. If the French pursue, we will have drawn them away from the safety. We'll launch search planes at 2.20 in the morning. Now we have Dom. Where are all the destroyers going? Why are you independent? Support. All of them went. Dependent. Why? Why? Head back to the cruisers. 
D10 made it out okay. Earthlinger, kind of on her own again. No apparent reason. Please come back. Not exercising enough command and control. Aircraft approaching. Weissenberg hit. Engine room. Meh. They didn't really accomplish anything. That one penetrated, though. Give me Weissenberg. Yeah, that took some knots out of the speed engine room hit, but it bounces or does not penetrate. I'm going to say it bounces. It's it's a bomb. What are you doing now? Why do you keep going independent? I told you, come here. I don't want you faffing about with a significant French fleet lurking a boot. Okay, they want to go into port. That's fine. Go into port then. And they appear to be somewhat in pursuit. Uh oh. Another access violation. Move aircraft procedure. Seems like it's having some sort of issue with aircraft moving. And unless I can pause it, I'm not going to be able to do anything. All right. Deal with that series of errors. Uh, we are running out of time. The scenario shouldn't go on for too much longer. Kind of grouchy, I can't really eat, give orders to my ships now. I'm trying to click on the pause button. Oh, finally. But then it gets locked in the loop and it's just moving aircraft. At least my ships are on an outward bound, and I'll get the game updated since I hear there's a patch that may be dealing with this. We'll see, though. All right, we're past time. Hopefully this isn't a permanent issue. Can I, can I save? We, we might actually be able to finish this battle now. If it ever finishes. Get the Weissenberg turned. Get the Blucher and the Hansa. No, I don't even want to search with planes. Just end the scenario at this point. After that series of errors, I'm not going to play until the game gets updated again. And there we go. So we lost one battle cruiser for two of theirs. Kind of disappointed we didn't get one of the heavy cruisers. So I was certain we had uh, exchanged torpedoes with them. We lost the Molke. Series of torpedoes, like that's that's not survivable. That was absolutely obliterating. We got the Conde French battle cruiser. We got the Sully battle cruiser. Oh, who else did we get? We got a few torpedoes into, or they did into the Weissenberg. Says heavy damage. I don't think it was really that bad, although she had constant flooding. Swayman did too. More constant flooding. It looks like uh, some of them, like the Friedland, made it in port. 
Although she wasn't too bad. More of the same. Nobody else got torpedoes from the looks of it. And that's that. Exit the scenario. Gain one prestige. Battle the English Channel. All good. So with that, we did have that crash to desktop. Looks like we worked through it without any significant losses. Uh, like loss of the battle and having to redo it. And having something else, or possibly not even engaging, since that put us ahead. Uh, I will trade ships with the, with the French. Granted, I don't have a ton. And we're only getting three more. Including the new Schwaben class, which I do look forward to how those will handle. And other than that, I, I think things are progressing very well. We'll wait for that new patch that's going to be coming out to come out, and we'll get things updated, and we'll move from, from that point instead. Thank you for staying till the end. Please leave a comment below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And you guys have come up with some amazing tips and some fun suggestions just to do something a little bit different. And I will see you next time. Take care.